Hey Yoda, Tinnikato, hello and welcome back aboard the ANS Reliant. My name is Birdtross and this is my Let's Play of Star Lancer. Let's get right to it with the ACN News. This is Heidi Moore, reporting for the Alliance Conflict News on November 13th, 2160. Today's top story. The Alliance fleet, now regrouped, has moved into a new phase in the war. For months, the fleet has been fighting a desperate defensive action, but in the last few weeks, fleet operations have become more aggressive. Admiral Caldwell, who was asked to comment on these operations, stated, It was high time to take the war to our enemies. And this report just in. The Coalition Council has imposed martial law on Mars. Reports are being received of wide-scale violations of our colonists on the Red Planet. It is believed thousands have been detained or killed in recent protests as the Coalition has imposed new, harsh rationing measures. Alliance Command has stated that all members of the Coalition Council will be placed on trial for war crimes and that justice will be done no matter what the cost. This is Heidi Moore for the Alliance Conflict News, signing off until next time. Sucks to be a Martian right now, and it looks like we're finally turning the heat up against the coalition that's fantastic news but without further ado let's head towards the briefing room thank you guys very much for your support in the comment section of the last episode a lot of the fans of the series continuing support after pretty much a year since the previous episode so let's hop on into the briefing room and witness the same old AMV I don't know why they have to load a different file for that. I guess it's because you have the transition and this is consistent or something. Let's get started people. The Coalition's warp capability is giving them a strong advantage, as illustrated by their attacks along our frontier. We have to neutralize this quickly so we can gain the upper hand when our own warp technology becomes operational. Reconnaissance indicates that this jump gate activity is being coordinated from the Latov Asteroid Observation Base and our mission's primary objective is its destruction. Alpha and Gamma Wings will move out three nav points and locate the base using scanners. Once found, Alpha Wing will have three minutes to destroy the communication tower. After that, the jamming from your support craft will become ineffective. Once you have tagged the comms tower, take out the fighters. When the fighters are gone, destroy the base's defense turrets. Gamma Wing will then move in to take out the base's satellite dish. Your final objective will be to locate and destroy a vent hatch on the surface of the asteroid. Then launch one of your jackhammer missiles into the vent. This should trigger off a chain reaction in the asteroid's internal bunker. With all mission objectives achieved, make your way back to the Reliant via Fort Sherman. We need this one, pilots. Okay, looks like we're actually, like I said, taking, into the, taking the fight to the Coalition, which is going to be fun. So we got promoted to the flight captain last time, which has unlocked the Patriot, which is a ship that is capable of blind fire, so we will be upgrading to the Patriot this episode. Looks like it has five hard points, we're gonna go ahead and keep that jackhammer in there actually, but I think what we'll do is get rid of these Havocs. We'll get ourselves a, another Screamer pod, because I actually do like the Screamers. And we'll go ahead and pick up a Fuel pod just to play it safe as well. That's pretty good. Let's go ahead and exit that and get to the launch good bay. Good luck! <laughs> Off we go. All systems go. Copy that control. Drop me out of the airlock. <laughs> November 21st, 2160. Same wing are priming for launch. Oh right, because Gamma's coming with us, for whatever reason. Here they go. The dreaded G-Man. Someone say our name. Oh yeah. Okay, pilots, prepare to move out. There they are. So those guys are pretty weak, I think. Jump system online. But uh. So we basically need to protect him. I don't know why they covered with us. It seems like a a bit of a problem. Right, let's see what we got. Oh hey, nice formation. Oh, that's all we need. A coalition convoy. Okay, 
45th. Engage the fighters first, then the freighters. Make sure no one escapes, or we'll be flying into a world of pain. So I've just, uh... Where is it? Here we go. So I've just... Uh, changed over to the Proton Cannon on the Patriot because while it is a ship that's capable of blind fire, not all of the weapons are capable of blind fire. So, let's see, let's switch over to the Screamers. So you get that guy. If we can find the other Saber. Got him. That was easy. <laughs> Right, so uh, you don't really want to let that guy escape, so I just uh, basically emptied half of my Screener Salvo into him, which is all good. Let's take out these two turrets, and this Kurgan is pretty much ineffective, isn't it? There we go. Pop a few Screeners in there to get the durability down. That's my what my brain said, durability. Shields are doing okay. I think the... I took a look at the stats for the Patriot uh, off-camera. It's pretty much, I think it's slightly more maneuverable, but it has way less hard points than your, your Coyote, basically. So, there are positives and negatives to both of the ships at this point. Uh, you can basically take your pick of what one you want to use. Why did my map speed thing go off? Anyway, let's get back behind him. Waste a bit of afterburner fuel, it's okay. And take out these turrets, doing good. Yeah, boy. That other one's kind of got a decent view on us, hasn't it? Hey! Take you out. I wanna take you out. Not on a date. <laughs> okay, this is taking a while. That's yeah, okay. I don't think we're uh, we've sort of done with the major time sink of this one. Just put the screamer in there. And they, those guys took over care of that. Shooting, 45th. We need to rearm. I've set coordinates for a Nandy rendezvous. Prepare to jump out. Okay. I could do with a couple more screamers, I suppose. Fantastic, so let's go for it. Looks like I did take a bit of damage from that after all, huh? Okay. Where the hell is that Nanny? Nanny 3, what's your ETA? This is Nanny 3. You've got an enemy hunting pack in your sector. He's right, I've got sabers and lags coming in fast. 45th, protect Gamma Wing at all costs. Goliath speaks. You will pay for slaying our cameras. Man, make sure you take that clown first. Hey there folks, I'm just adding this voice in while I'm editing because I wasn't talking in this part of the episode. This was the 7th or 8th attempt at this section of the mission. Gamma 1 is very prone to dying at this point because about 3 or 4 of these fighters will target him straight away. So I've decided to look online to see if anyone found a way to keep him alive during this bit. And the best strategy that I could find was to basically keep tabs on him by targeting him and seeing how he was doing. You can see me here doing just that and finding out that he almost died. It's tricky and a bit RNG based, but as you'll see, I pull through in what I believe is a first for a Let's Play of this game. Okay then, it's back to the live commentary. That's the last of them. Oh, we actually did it. I'm impressed, 45th. Yeah! <laughs> Hopefully I'll add something in in post-editing to explain Day that. Three, this is Alpha Leader. Rendezvous point is clear. Oh my gosh. Roger that. We're coming in. That is so hard. <laughs> okay, 45th. Ready when you are. <laughs> right then, so... So these nanny ships, this is the first real mission in the game where we actually get a bit of a break thanks to the developers. They basically give us this nanny that we can rearm and resupply, get ourselves some more screamer missiles as well as some more afterburner fuel, which is really, really nice. So yeah, cool. Thanks Digital Anvil, thumbs up. <laughs> this is the first mission with this and I think there are a couple more that are going to happen further on down the road, but yeah, very cool.
Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was my, my 15th attempt or something like that. Crazy. Screamer selected. Where are the other guys? That's a massive load off. <laughs> this is Nanny 3. I'm heading out. Good luck. Cheers, man. Thanks, Nanny 3. Gamma, 45th, let's move out. Oh, I'm targeting the wrong dude, aren't I? Spoilers. Jump system online. Righto. Let's jump. Okie dokie. Hey, 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 that's the main theme. Don't match speed. I got visual on the laptop. You mean that giant rock? Look at the size of that thing. Are they kind of just chilling behind me? All right. Gamma, you hold back and we'll go clear your way. Okay, 45th. Engage your will. Take out the laptop's communication tower, or half the coalition fleet will be jumping in. That's a good idea. But man, they're like 600k away, so we'll have to afterburn up there. I think we have about a minute before they, before the reinforcements get here. We should be able to do it because we're traveling pretty dang quick here, and we've got a bunch of screamers that we can throw at this ship now. Oh man, <laughs> sorry, I'm still just gonna just gonna in the zone of having to defend Gamma One. All right, because the guides that I was looking at online for that are just. <laughs> I don't, I don't think anybody's really done it, to be honest. So hopefully my video sort of serves as a bit of a guide for you. Anyway, let's get up close and personal. Time to murderize these fools. We can turn on our guns now. By doing that. Now I think we want to take out some of these turrets too. Here we go. Turn on the full guns to speed that up, of course. It does drain the, the power from the thing way faster. But, there's a massive positive in that you're way stronger. I think that's actually it, isn't it? Let's take out some more of these turrets while we're just cruising for a bruising. Hey, twin turret action! Right, another laser turret somewhere over here, maybe? Get rid of you. Stop you causing problems later on, I think. Where are the rest of these turrets? Alright. Copy that. Gamma, you heard the man. I'm doing good. Approaching now. Just remember that we have to drop our shields pre-launch, so stay alert. Alright. Okay, hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Don't target Gamma 1, I want to target this dude. Hang in there, pilot. I've called a nanny in. Alright, there are some screamers in there. Nice. There is no close dude, apparently. Okay, let's take another Kurgan then. Just to get those turrets targeted just in case we need them, but we shouldn't need to. This guy is targeting me though. So I'll wreck his day. Yeah boy, threw an asteroid. Bug, bug, bug. <laughs> oh, well. Here we go. Another guy. Another Kurgan. Yeah, so it looks like it's just nothing but Kurgans as we manage to take out the... Manage to take out the ship that's about to jump away on you. Alright. Match speed with this fool, man. <laughs> I've got us playing sloppily. Too much style arts for one day, huh? It looks like it's just one Kurgan left. How you doing? This is Gamma. We're dropping shields now. Watch our backs. There we go. So there's the shaft, vent hatch, and there's a one laser turret left. So I guess we might as well just go ahead and deal with this just to stop lasers doing lasery things. Boom! Nice. And that is it. There are no more bad lasers. <laughs> no more bad lasers fighting our ship, which is really cool. Torpedoes launched. Repeat, torpedoes launched. Okay, let's just kind of back off a bit. Yeah, there are the, go the torps. All eight of them. How are we doing? There they go. Cool. I don't think you can attack this yet. Let's actually just uh, back up a little bit more. And there we go. Plenty of space. Decent view of the torpedoes coming in. Beautiful. Can I see anything behind us? Smoke. Gamma wing, this is Alpha Leader. The dish has been destroyed. 
destroyed. Very cool. Now I think we're gonna take this now, right? See ya dudes. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> now I take this now. Okay, 45th. Take out the vent hatch and get a jackhammer down there. Hey. The hatch is cool. blown. Line up with the targeting rings and put a jackhammer down its throat. Okay, where are these targeting rings? I want to make sure I'm lined up. There we go. Over here. And jackhammer. get my jackhammer out. Hey! Oh man, whoa! Okay, I think we're gonna have to back up, so let's go. Gonna back up. Make sure we don't get crisp loaded. There goes the jackhammer inside. Whoa! Did you see that? Direct hit! The Latov has been destroyed. Okay, <laughs> 45th. Let's get the hell out of here. Well, in a previous take, the Latov, uh, that explosion Amen killed me. That. I might throw that in for fun, we'll see. Then anyway. Roger that moose. Jumpy jump. Away! <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm just kind of exhausted, glad, happy. Look at all those mammoths. Hello. <laughs> Whoa, fly into the camera there, okay. There must have been the vampires in the... the only squadron that has all wolverines, I think. Man, so many mammoths. That's awesome. Alright, let's go ahead and target the Reliant, if we can find her. What a beautiful old bird she is, too. Permission to land. Hmm? Hey, it's the main man. You're clear all the way in, pilot. The main man, huh? <laughs> Very cool. Did we take any major damage? Just, a. Uh, Tailpipe, exhaust pipe, that's okay. Bring her in, and hopefully, we got that positive rating. How do we do? Let's have a look. No, what? what? No, come on. <laughs> oh man. Screw you, game. <laughs> Screw you, game. You saw it all. We, we saved him. Okay. Alliance High Command is very pleased with the 45th's performance. They believe the destruction of the Latov asteroid base will put a large dent in the Coalition's warp gate technology program, giving our boys time to catch up with our own. Hopefully the Coalition won't be inventing too many new surprises for us for a while. I also heard you ran into a Coalition convoy out there. You must have given them the fright of their lives when you appeared. Great work. Keep up this effort, and we may yet turn this war around. Commander Enriquez. We got 13 mission kills, bringing our overall kills up to 175. Very, very nice. Nice round number, too. We take a look at the kill board. <laughs> One behind old Steiny. We will probably take him out next episode, but if you want to see that's the case, you're going to have to come back in the next episode. Thank you for watching this episode of Let's Play Star Lancer brought to you under many stresses. Hope that you guys enjoyed it. Kia kaha, and I'll see you in the next video.